Right. I thought we came out strong. I thought we came out ready to play. Um, I thought what we were trying to do worked. Uh, I didn't see um, really any adjustments out of um, Mankato in the second. I, I saw us go into a bit of a lull like we've done um, in the last few games, and uh, we, we've got to resolve that. So, um, third period, I, it seemed to me at the beginning, we kind of just wanted to go through the motions a little bit, like maybe felt a little sorry for ourselves. But I think the guys, uh, after we made a goal, goaltending change, um, showed a little more spark, a little more energy. We ended up with 16 shots in the third. Uh, um, but if we don't score goals, it doesn't. You know, nothing else really matters. We're going to have to get find a way to get three goals a night, and you know, we still only gave up three goals against. Um, we have to find a way to get three goals every night, and if we do that, we'll, you know, we're going to have success. And, that's what our goal is. That's what we're working at, and you know we'll keep going after. It. You talked earlier this week about matching their work ethic. Just talk about how you guys did that in the first period. I thought we did. I thought it was good. It was competitive. We stayed. We, you know, we stayed above our plays. And um, in in the second period, just kind of you, you can you know it, it's been like that for three games. We just it starts out slow and then it gets slower and it, we get into line change issues and um, it, it's kind of like it's it's. You know, you get the feeling a little bit on the bench, it's too hard. Um, and so we go back in after the second, we re-go over our game plan, and, and uh, to some degree we find it again in the third. So um, we're going to have to we're gonna have to resolve that. And again, we, you know, uh, no excuses. We, we have a lot of young guys that got to step up that, are, that we're asking to do a lot. And we don't, you don't have that veteran leadership that's been through the grind. Um, and accomplished it, and, and kind of we need to hold each other accountable. I thought the bench was positive. I thought the, the players, um, I don't think we lost them. I think some guys just kind of, the body language has to get better. Um, it gets frustrating for them as well. You know, they want to score goals. They want to do things, but it's not going to come the easy way. It's going to come, we have to go through it and come out the other side of it and, and uh, not look backwards. We have to look forwards, and that's, that's again, what our focus is. Yeah, it seemed like momentum switched when they, they just got that goal in off the corner and, and then Buckley got the penalty. It seemed like that's where momentum changed for good. Yeah, I think it actually changed a little bit. I thought the momentum changed when uh, Donahue fell down. Like, it's very similar to the North Dakota. I thought that the momentum changed in North Dakota in the second period at the same point. Um, just ironic, but both times, you know, without really pressure, um, he fell down and gave two-on-one opportunity. And um, that's just... You know, that's just luck. But I, I felt it changed them because after that, if you recall, they had like seven, eight face-offs in a row where they won the draw, shot, shot. Won the draw, shot, shot. Up until that time, we were up in shots. Like, I don't know, I don't know what they were, 11-5, something like that. And then pretty soon it was 11-11. You know, they scored their first goal on their 11th shot that tied the, the shot coming up. So um, I don't think we're tremendously far away. It may look like it to others. I'm not concerned about that, but... Um, I think that a couple of goals and, and some guys finding some success would go a long way for our team right now. Yeah, I mean, you guys almost scored tonight on, on McKay, who made that stick save right at the goal line. Just talk about that sequence. Yeah, it's a sequence. We need, we need you know, 15 of those a night. So that's a sequence. Uh, just talk about, you know, just the thought that went into taking uh, Robbie out for Blake. I've been looking for a chance to play Blake. We're playing great competition. I don't want to throw Blake in and and uh, put him in a situation where he's going to fail. He's he's our he. I'm looking for him to be our future. I, he's going to be an outstanding goaltender. Um, you know we're at Bowling Green for two. I don't want to I don't want to beat him up there. We're at North Dakota, you know, um, and all those games are relatively tight and and we're in them. I just felt tonight. Um, I felt virtually all three goals I thought were on the softer side, two from behind the net. Um, and uh, I thought it was a good opportunity, and, and I think the team reacted around it, and I thought Blake did an excellent job. Um, Robbie's been good for us. He, he, you know, he starts out years really good. He gives us that, that first start's always a great one. Could be a shutout, could be this. And, um, and uh, you know, we got to find ways to support him a little bit better. Um, but I thought Blake did a great job, and I actually think he sparked the team a little bit. So another young guy playing, and, and uh, you know, good for him. I'm happy for him. And what did you notice about him tonight? Just what does he do well in that? He does everything. What he, he's just still adjusting to the speed of the game. 
some pucks still go through him. Pucks go through him a bit in practice at times. Um, I think he has ability to dial in. We, I don't know a tremendous amount about about him. I've, I saw him play several times um, in midget hockey. Um, I might have seen him play once in juniors. Um, but every place he goes, he steps up and takes over the starting job. So um, we're not going to give it to him. He's going to have to earn it. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly proud of the way he played tonight. What's your message to the team tonight just to try to take one tomorrow? Well, not, nothing negative. I, 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 I thought, uh, I think our body language, our poise um, has, to, has to get better. If we're sensing it uh, as coaches, which we all were, um, it's, a, it's, it's going to affect each other, how, they, how they're viewing each other. Um, we have to play with energy. We have to stay positive. We have to stay the course. Um, again, we're, we're growing. We, you know, we 16 shots in the third. I, I, I would imagine when we get to the scoring chances, um, a number of them we gave them with, with some critical errors. But, and, and they certainly, that with that five-minute major, they probably had maybe a third of the t entire chances they had in the game. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming when we go through it, it's only going to be a couple chance difference in the hockey game. And, uh, you know, they have some All-American Tech players that make things happen and are creative and can score from the back of the net. And we're having trouble scoring from right out in front of the net. So uh, it'll come. I, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. I'm, I'm proud of their work ethic. I don't want them to get down. I don't want them to get beat up. It's a completely different feeling than it was a year ago. It's, uh, there's, there's talent. There's optimism. Um, there's work ethic, and uh, we just we got to get rid of these lulls and, and put together 60 minutes. Thanks.